Hi everybody, it's Geordie from Geordie's Cards. Thank you so much for joining me. So it's been a while since I have been on here making cards that weren't design team projects and it's really nice to be back. I feel nice and refreshed after my time away and ready to get crafting again. So I'm making a set of Christmas cards for you today. I have this gorgeous Pink and Main Too Cute Ink and Simon Says Stamp collaboration set which came from this year's Stamp Timber release. It is called Love You Snow Much. I have the Mama Elephant Everything Nice Stamps and Coordinating Dies, the Mama Elephant Silhouette Snow Tree Dies, and the Mama Elephant Midnight Cover Die. So those are the things that I'm going to be using today. Um, stay tuned because I have a special giveaway announcement at the end of this project to share with you. To thank you for sticking with me through my little break. Um, I had just a, I, I needed a little break. I was struggling for ideas and really struggling to find my mojo. And I just felt like I needed to have a little bit of time away to come back nice and refreshed. And it's worked a treat because I feel really excited about being back in my craft room again. So I just showed you there that I had coloured and cut out my little images there and I had also color, um, stamped out the sentiments and die cut those. I've cut out some of those silhouette trees, the um, background panels and the kind of sparkly cardstock to go behind that um, background panel. So I am making four cards and I have 12 of my trees cut out in three different sizes and I am going to ink blend on them. So I've cut them from Bristol Smooth cardstock and I'm using Cracked Pistachio and Evergreen Bow Distress Oxide inks. So I'm just blending those a little bit on there, um, just adding a few darker spots and places and then blending back over with my lighter colour to smooth it all out. Um, and that's pretty much all I'm doing and just the same for all of them. I then have this Secura Opaque White ink that I found the other day in my local bookshop and decided to try it out. I think it works a little bit like Copic White. And I've just watered it down with a little bit of water and using that to splatter all over my trees here to give them a nice snowy effect. So these are going to um, kind of set the scene for my little marshmallow snowmen, <laughs> which I just love the stamp set. I bought last year's Simon Says Stamp um, uh, Pink and Main uh, collaboration. Gosh, I can't speak. Um, I bought that one last year. It had the similar kind of little snowmen, marshmallow snowmen in it. And I just couldn't resist this one as well. So here's that cover plate die, the midnight cover plate. I've cut it from dark blue cardstock and I am attaching it down to this kind of glittery, silver, silver glittery cardstock that I have here. So um, this, card this glittery cardstock is just kind of um, a cheap, no-name brand that I got in my local craft shop. And I um, am using a liquid glue to attach this down because the glitter really does resist any kind of adhesive. So liquid glue works best. I'm going to pop a heavy acrylic block on top there to hold it in place and let it dry. Once I've done that with all four of my background pieces there, I can start assembling the fronts of my card. So I have three trees for each card. I'm going to pop two to one side and one on its own on the other side. And again, I'm going to use liquid glue to attach those down. So I will configure them around that kind of open space there. I'm not really sure... Um, what that open space is meant to be it could be a moon it could just be a little bit of like you know background <laughs> whatever you want to make it really um, and then it's got the lovely kind of stars and little um kind of circles cut out around the edge of it I just love this die I think it's gorgeous for kind of really um highlighting uh, an image in the front and making it um stand out and I just thought it worked perfectly with these four little um characters I've got going on from the stamp set so again just doing exactly the same thing with each of these um, I am configuring the trees slightly differently on each one I think um, two will have two trees on the right hand side and one on the left and the other two will have two trees on the left hand side and one on the right so just um, yeah chopping and changing it around but once I have them all glued down, I will just again pop them under that acrylic block and leave them to set until they are completely dry and well stuck down because they do want to shift around a bit with that glitter cardstock. 
So once I have all of my trees attached down, it's time to pop my little images on top. So I have four images. I, there are four images in the stamp set. So I just colored all of them. And then I have four different greetings as well. So I've stamped these greetings out in Honeysuckle ink from Concord and Ninth and um, die cut them with the coordinating dies. Now I was trying to match the pink to the pink that I've used on the little accessories of my marshmallow snowmen and my penguins here. I don't think I quite matched it up perfectly, but it's as good as. It's not too bad. Um, and I just really like the kind of bright pops of color against that dark blue background. I went for slightly non-traditional holiday colors. So I've gone for a kind of bright hot pink um, and then this kind of minty green and a touch of purple as well in my coloring today. And I have just at, colored my marshmallow snowman with a little bit of pink um, instead of like a blue or an aqua because I just thought it looked kind of cute as pink marshmallow snowman <laughs> rather than blue. So once I have all of my little images attached and my sentiments down, it is pretty much done. I just need to attach these card fronts to a card base. And I really liked the way that I was able to make four cards um, pretty quickly and easily. It was just a case of coloring four images and then doing a bit of die cutting to get everything ready to go. But it takes a lot less time than making four individual Christmas cards, if that makes sense. Um, <laughs> so I just found it really, really helpful for me because I, uh, I, as always, have left it and not really got much done in the way of Christmas cards. I don't know if anybody else out there is the same, but, you know... You live and learn. Every year I say I'm going to be better and every year it doesn't happen. Last year I was slightly better because I had a Christmas card series on my channel, um, but I didn't stick with it this year. So yeah, I'm, I'm back at square one. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to attach my card fronts to my card base. And while I am doing that, I'm going to tell you about my exciting little giveaway here. So to thank you all for sticking with me over the past month while I've been away and um, taking some time out, I wanted to do a little giveaway. Now, when I purchased the stamp set from Simon Says Stamp, I missed out on the coordinating dies because it was kind of a last minute decision to make this purchase. Um, so there were no coordinating dies left, only the stamp set. But what I did instead was I grabbed two of the stamp sets and I have one to give away to one lucky viewer. So in order to win that second stamp set from me, here we go, there's the other one that I'm giving away, um, you can just leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you thought about the cards. Let me know what you would make with the stamp set. Um, obviously, please do be a subscriber to my channel. And I will choose one random lucky winner to receive the stamp set from me. This giveaway is open worldwide. It is not sponsored by YouTube or Simon Says Stamp or um, Pink and Main at all. It is just a giveaway that I am doing on my own for my channel. So you will have one week to leave a comment down below. That will give you to, till November the 13th, Monday the 13th of November. And I will give you until midnight Eastern Standard Time to leave that comment and I will be drawing my winner next week and I will announce on my social media pages. So please do leave a message. Let me know what you thought and I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for joining me. Take care.